Howdy guys, welcome back to Azuriel Circle. So chapter 3 just came out about a month ago, and uh, we're going to play it blind. So far I've really liked the series. Chapter 1 and 2 have been great. Um, it's actually been quite a while since I played this game, like 3 or 4 months. I know I posted a video for it like a, a week ago, but that was actually recorded a long time ago. So we're going to get started with chapter 3. Um, just to recap, chapter one, I think it was like a family or a son came to visit his parents and there was something crazy going on with some sort of circle trying to summon a demon. And then chapter two, his name was Don, I think, in chapter two. And um, he was like a detective. And this guy, his name is Miles King. I'm an investigative journalist from New York City. So I'm guessing since the first... the. The first two chapters, they had nothing to do with one another. And I'm guessing that's the case for chapter three as well. It's not going to have anything to do with uh, the first two chapters. So you don't necessarily have to play the first two chapters to play this game. What I'm about to tell you sounds absurd, but please keep reading. My grandfather, Reginald King, once lived in the Old Ways nursing home a few miles from Eden, New York. I hadn't seen him in about six months and wanted to pay him a visit. He was always good to me. He always asked about my life and made sure to write so that he, uh, we never lost touch. I definitely owed him a visit after all the support he'd given me throughout my life. What I didn't expect was to get involved in my most bizarre investigation since my work on the meat traders of South Brooklyn. I may not convince all of you, but if I can convince even 1%, then it's worth my career. I drove out to the countryside where Old Ways was located. I got out of my car and walked up the driveway. Okay, so this guy, Miles, he's going to visit his grandfather in the... God dang it, I hate nursing homes. I mean, I've never actually been to one, but, like, I... <laughs> any game with a nursing home, I don't want to play it. Like, Distraint 2. I, I did a walkthrough of a game called Distraint. I had a nursing home, and it was awful. But, anyways, Old Ways Nursing Home. This is it, all right. The sign gives it all away. What should I do? Go with a few jokes, chat up the lady on reception. What if it's a man? Good lord. Hmm. Maybe a bit somber inside. Maybe tone it down a notch. Uh, never mind. Overthinking again. Enough rambling. Gramps is waiting for me. Alright, what was his grandfather's name? Miles? Uh, let me walk around here. We can't go that way. What am I doing? There's too much unfinished business to attend here. Okay, let's just go inside. Wow, take a look at this lady. <laughs> she belongs in a museum. Hmm. Hello? Do you hear me, Miss... Margaret Thompson. Miss Margaret Thompson to you. You know what? Um, let me cut right here really quick. Okay, I just wanted to grab a pen and paper in case I had to write anything down. And yes, I hear you. Can't you see that I'm busy? Just looking for my grandfather. His name is Reginald King. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, so the main character's name is Miles. And the grandfather's name is Reginald. Goes by Reggie sometimes. Do you know him? It's not that big a place. I know him. Go down the hall to your left. He's in one of those rooms. Which one? Look around until you find him. Edna's barricaded herself in again, so you don't have that many options. I'm going to be writing down all these names, too, um, just in case. So, so far we have uh, Miles, the main character, Margaret Thompson, the receptionist, Reginald King, the grandfather, and then uh, there's going to be Edna barricading herself in. Hmm? Barricaded herself in? You heard me. I did, but I'm confused. I think it's pretty understandable. Social cues aren't going to do it, are they? I suppose I'll have to be blunt. I'm busy. Go away. Fine, whatever. Thanks, I guess. Alright, so the receptionist isn't very nice. Um, let's explore a little bit. Let me see if we can go... Uh, we had a scrap paper, fewer seats, and food wasted. Okay, I don't think that gave us anything. Let me take a look at my inventory. Okay, we don't have anything so I think we're stuck for now going to the left okay let's go over this way <laughs> but I mean 
this game is fun. I know the graphics aren't great, but I really don't care about graphics. It's it's still a really fun game. The puzzles are nice. Um, it's not too difficult. I mean, the previous chapters I got stuck trying to find all the endings, but the puzzles aren't really that hard. All right, let's get out of here. Um, I don't know if that's our grandfather. That doesn't look like a man. Looks like a handkerchief. I'm sure this old lady won't mind if I borrow it. I'll return it fully washed. Did we just take her handkerchief? <laughs> that's kind of that's kind of messed up, but I mean, I'm sure we're gonna use it. All right, let's talk to this this guy. There's five. Why are her eyes red? Five, five what? A father, a mother, a sister, and then two brothers. You don't sound too good. Are you okay? All right, I don't think that's our grandfather. So let's uh let's check this room. That's probably him right there. That looks more like a man. Always wanted a tiny milk carton. Did we just take his milk? Damn, <laughs> we're just stealing all these items from old people. That's <laughs> uh that's kind of messed up, but whatever. All right, let's talk to him. Miles, you're finally here. Hi, Gramps. How are you? Just fine, just fine. Good as I can be. Ex uh, good as can be expected. How have you been doing? I've been reading all your articles. You're a good writer, my boy. Thanks. I really appreciate that. You've always been a big supporter, and it means so much to me. I've been pretty good. Keep him busy, you know? I'm sure, I'm sure. Any young ladies in your life yet? Ha! Huh, I wish been too busy with work to go on many dates you know there's a nice young lady nurse that works here betty's her name all right let me write that down really quick well except except is there something wrong no it's nothing it's nothing at all tell me grandpa are they not treating you properly no no it's well it's can I be completely straight with you, and can you not call me a crazy old man? I'd never do that, unless you say something completely and utterly absurd. Enough of your jokes, I'm deadly serious. Apologies, go ahead, tell me, whatever it is. What's he about to say? Well, I strongly suspect there's something going on in this place. Started a week or two ago, Edna started yelling about the rituals and demons. Edna's the one that barricaded herself in one of the rooms just a bunch of things you'd expect an old lady to yell if she's going a bit funny the thing is i've known edna for the better part of three years now and she's not shown any signs of being crazy at all she's probably the most physically and mentally astute person in here these things can hit you all of a sudden though no that was my first thought but then i heard that creepy janitor talking janitor his name is Rodney. He's not been here too long, but he looks like a sick son of a bitch. Always has a creepy stare on him. Always rude, and the only person he shows any real respect to is Miss Blackstock. Or, excuse me, Mr. Blackstock. Who's that? Matthew Blackstock is the owner of this place. He wanders around every now and then, but he's usually in his office. What did the janitor say? Rodney, was it? Yes, Rodney. He was outside arguing with somebody. I couldn't climb into my wheelchair fast enough to see who it was, but it sounded serious. He mentioned something about a ritual going badly and how it can happen again. It's probably just some nonsense, but if uh, it's set Edna off and it's worth looking into. I can have a prowl about if you think it can help. Might put your mind at ease? Are you armed? What? No. Take this just in case I've got a spare. Oh, wow, we're actually going to get a gun. Or no, excuse me, a pocket knife. Nobody here would do you any harm as far as I could tell. But I don't trust Rodney. Rodney's the, um, the janitor. If he thinks you're investigating him, he may get hostile. I don't want you to get yourself hurt by trying to help me. Okay, well... If this was me, like, I would just grab grab your grandfather and get out of there as fast as possible. I mean, it's like, I don't know. I guess he is like an investigator, but 
All right, I'll have a look around and see what I can find. Thanks, my boy. Don't mention it. Okay, so we have, let me take a look here. We have pocket knife, milk, and handkerchief. Let's go check the next door room. I think that's where Edna is. Hello? Get out of here. I told you I'm not opening this door. I'm not falling for your tricks, Blackstock. Blackstock is the, uh, the owner, I think. I'm Reggie's grandson, Miles. Miles? He talks about you a lot. What do you want? Gramps just wanted me to speak to you about what's been going on in here. That's all. Hello? I'm thinking. Fine. You can come in. The door's still locked? I did too good a job, oh, of course. We're gonna go have to find the key or something. I broke the handle, you're gonna need to uh, sort the door out. Fine, I'll be back, okay. Okay, well let's go, uh, let's go explore a little bit then. Oh, there you are. Who's this guy? Miles, I believe, am I correct? Is he gonna be the villain? I mean, anybody with a goatee, <laughs> they're always the villain. Uh, yeah, that's right. Who are you? Forgive me, my friend. Forgive me. My name is Matthew Blackstock, and I own this place. Yeah, so Mr. Blackstock or Matthew Blackstock, he's the owner. But please just call me Matthew. My, uh, my grandfather mentioned you. How do you do? I'm very well, and hopefully I'm doing some good. In truth, I've wanted to speak to you since Reggie mentioned you were coming. I trust he's spoken to you about his good friend Edna? Yes, he did. She sounds like she's got a few concerns, to say the least. Indeed, indeed. A few of the staff have taken to calling her crazy old Edna. Horrible, just horrible. When they're old and suffering, I'm sure that they wouldn't want such atrocious things said about themselves. Would you mind if I take a look around the place? I just want to put my grandfather's mind at ease and then enjoy the rest of my visit. Of course you can. Old Ways has nothing to hide. We're a very friendly and open place. Margaret? Hmm? Don't give Miles here a hard time if he wanders about. Let him go into the various wings. Fine. There we go. No problem at all. Thank you, Mr. Blackstock. Matthew, I insist. Okay, perfect. We get to walk around this place now. Um, don't worry, do not worry. I need to step out briefly, but I'm sure we'll run into each other again. Are we still allowed to... Oh yeah, we can go back here. And we can go over here too. Let's uh let's take a look at these four rooms first. Okay, this door's locked. Miles is on the case, I'll find the key. Looks like my hair when I was 17. <laughs> let's talk to this guy. Yes? Excuse me, but do you have a moment? Oh, you must be Reggie's son. How did he know that? Close enough. They say you're some sort of investigative journalist? So you're uncovering conspiracies, going undercover in big companies and the like? Not quite that interesting, I'm afraid. It's much more low scale generally, but I'm still proud of my work. All right, how about a little test then? A test? What for? To see if you're worthy. I'm worthy? Worthy of what? What does that even mean? All will be revealed in due time, my boy. Let's just say I'm curious about your ability to research. Matthew values what I say and I'll put a good word in for you. For what? You'll see. Just trust me. Why should I? I'm not Rodney. I'm no worm. I'll give you some sugar if you agree. <laughs> I don't want any sugar. <laughs> yeah, sugar. You'll make yourself a nice coffee. It'll help you mull things over. Everybody here always runs out of sugar. But not old Abraham. Okay, so this guy's Abraham, then. How can I refuse an offer like that? Your sarcasm won't do you any good. Are you interested or not? I guess, but only if it'll make you talk a bit. I'm not getting much information out of anybody else. What do you want me to do? It's more about what I want you to learn. I want you to see if they're... I want to see if you're as observant as I believe you to be. I'll ask you some questions, and I want you to go seek the answers. Sounds straightforward. It is. It may answer some of your questions about old ways. Now we're getting somewhere. Just ask me when you're ready for my first question. 
Um, let's go. Let's let's uh. Let's walk around a little bit first, and then we can come back to him. But let's get some more information first before we start answering the questions. Looks like here's another lady right here. Or a man? I don't know. Excuse me, can I have a word? Reggie's grandson? Yes, I'm Miles. Do you have a second? Beware. Beware what? The Huntress? The Fleshmongers? The Red Huntress? He seems a bit... Okay, it is a guy. <laughs> he seems a bit out of it. Let me take a look at his cabinets, too. Which, uh, I, this game, I know there's been, like, a lot of dialogue, but that's, like, really any game. The beginning's gonna always have a lot of dialogue. And then this room, too. Have we been in here? Oh, there's gotta be some stuff to grab in here. Screwdriver? Perhaps I could use it to unscrew the lock on the door? Okay, let's take that definitely. Wide variety of supplies on the shelves. Nothing that really stands out to me. Broom? The name Rodney is etched into... Who writes their name on a broom? Really? Long cut of rope. I've needed stranger things when I went out undercover. Looks like a few notes scrawled into an old notebook. These sick old fucks. Father says that I must tolerate them because he would choose me over them. Unbelievable, but I must do as he says. He's given me everything I have and is continuing to help. To help me. These rituals are only the next step. By the end of 88, I swear I'll have to prove... Uh, I'll swear I'll have proven myself to him. Reginald is the worst one. Wait, is this um, is this the janitor's like diary? Reginald's the grandfather. He's so friendly to me when I despise him so much. Miles this, Miles that. It's as if he doesn't have any other grandchildren. He puts his favorite above everybody else. Edna. Edna's becoming a problem. I believe she knows about my new mother. With the old mother dying, it's been left for Natasha to fill the void. Who's Natasha? Wait. I believe she knows about my new mother. With the old mother dying, it's been left for Natasha to fill the void? Let me write that down just in case. I want to smother her, but Matthew said we aren't murderers. I must listen to him. I must follow his every word. Thomas is harmless, but I can't help but feel hatred for him. He doesn't really talk to me, and I appreciate that. If he did, I'd strangle the bastard. The urge to kill him gets stronger every day. I don't know if I can hold back the temptation much longer. If I feel stressed, I just need to remember how Matthew saved me and that he told me not to kill. I must listen. Okay, well, I mean, that kind of means, like... The janitor and Matthew are, like, in cahoots somehow? Marjorie is barely functional these days, and that's how I like her best. She just sits there quietly and barely speaks. I think she's giving up on life, and it's so joyous to see it brings me true happiness. Brother is my biggest problem of all. One of my closest allies? I don't think so. We're just bound together by secrets we share. It's like the government officials that always cover for each other as they're... All into the same foul acts. It sickens me that I'm in a pact with Abraham. Wait, Abraham is the guy that's asking the questions, right? Signed by Rodney. And Rodney's the janitor. He seems to slip in and out of using some sort of code name. Let me look at that one more time. I just want to make sure I'm not missing anything. Okay, so he's in some sort of pact with Abraham and Matthew, the owner. And then let me, was that, was Abraham the guy that asked the questions? I think this is Abraham right here. Oh shit, I didn't want to talk to him yet for the questions. What is the job of my brother? Well, that's the, the janitor. Oh wow, you actually got to spell it out. Janitor, it's Rodney the janitor. You're correct. Second question, I have only one sister. What's her surname? Um, I don't know that one yet, so let's go take a look around. But, I mean, so far there's like... 10 different people introduced. I'm glad I wrote everybody's name down. 
Uh, let's talk to this lady one more time. I'm busy, young man. Leave me be. Okay. Is this um the nurse, Betty? How are you? I'm very good, thanks. Are you Reggie's grandson? He's always talking about you. That's me. My name's Miles. I'm Elizabeth, but everybody just calls me Betty for short. Okay, Elizabeth. Or Betty. Whichever you prefer. Are you okay? You're turning red. I'm all good. Okay then. Well, I'll see you around. Okay. Who's this guy? Get out of here. Matthew said I could look about. Not in here you can't. Fuck off. Is this, um... Is this Rodney? Are you deaf? Go away. That might be Rodney, then. Okay, so this is the office. This room's locked, and... Wow, these are all locked right now. This one's locked, too. <laughs> What is this? There's rather feminine handwriting in this notepad. I'm always so terrible at remembering the password, but I'm not allowed to write write it down. This is just a small reminder to myself that I don't forget the staff lounge safe password. First two numbers are my current age. The third number is the number of, oh God. Here we go with the number puzzles. Let me write this down because it looks like a lot of information. And the sixth and final digit is the number of letters in my full forename. Is your forename your first name? Forename. I think that's like your first name. Okay, so the sixth one is forename. I wonder who wrote this? Somebody who has a short, uh, short form of their name? Okay, we'll come back to that. Is this a fruit? never seen a light blue fruit before what is with this game and like the first two chapters too they they had like fruit on the table and chapter two had a giant fruit in like a hidden room i don't know what the deal is with the fruit never hurts to have a few cups of co oh a few coffee beans kettle is still hot so we almost have like all the ingredients to make like a cup of coffee right coffee beans milk and Oh, and we don't have the sugar yet, but we can get the sugar afterwards. After we answer those questions. Alright, so what else is there to... Oh, we can go in this room too. So let's check over here. Oh, we're like outside now. Who's this? Is that alright if I have a look around the garden? Miles, right? Reggie said you'd be coming here. There's just a shut up ahead and you can probably see it in the distance. Matthew said I could be. A, it would be okay if I had a look around, miss. Weston. Maria Weston. As I said, there's nothing worthwhile up ahead, and I don't want you to get hurt. There's a lot of power tools in the shed, and only Rodney is allowed there. Okay, well, we don't have access to go there. She just said the same thing. So... Oh, I know what I could do. Let's go use the... Let's go use the screwdriver on the door for uh, Edna's room. Go to unscrew the handle. Hopefully I can remove the lock from there. Give it a try. That seems to work. Drat, I've ruined the screwdriver head, of course. It must have been quite brittle. All right, let's talk to this lady. Miles? That's me, all right. Reggie wanted you to investigate what's going on here? He did, yeah. So he's finally started to listen. Seems like it. Don't trust Blackstock and don't trust Rodney either. There are strange things going on in here. Does that mean I shouldn't trust uh, Abraham too? I don't know. It's like there's some sort of weird cult or something. I don't know exactly what's going on here. Can you elaborate for me? Matthew isn't the kind of man he seems. He cheated on his wife. He's consorting with scum like Rodney, and he tried summoning a demon which got his wife killed. His wife killed? You heard me. But before we discuss more, I need you to do something for me. Hang on, I'm helping you already. I wouldn't be surprised if somebody tries to kill me very soon. I want you to get something from me before that happens. Aren't you a little paranoid? No? 
Fine, fine. What do you need? I've not been getting my letters. I'm certain that some of these staff have hidden them on Blackstock's orders. Find them for me, please. All right, I'll do it for my grandfather. Okay, let me let me walk around then. Um, I'm not too. Oh wait a second, can we grab this coffee cup for like making coffee? No, we can't grab that. Let me talk. I couldn't find anything else to do, so let's go back to the questions. I have only one sister. What's her surname? So let's try um Maria Weston. She was the nurse that's blocking the way to the uh the outside, like the shed. So surname would be her last name. Weston, you're talking about Maria. Indeed. Third question, father has been married to one woman. What was her forename? Oh, shoot. Who said that? Was it Natasha? Let me let me look at this note one more time. Oh, wait, I think it's in this room. There it is. Okay. I think she knows something about Matthew's wife, Linda. I tried Natasha. Natasha wouldn't even fit. So I couldn't find her name, but right here it's uh, L-Y-N-D-A. Okay. This chapter is actually like a little bit harder than the previous two. Uh, there's like a ton of names. But anyways, let's plug that in. So uh, let's do L-Y-N-D-A. Linda. Matthew is the father and his wife was called Linda. You're doing well. I've only got one more question for you. What is the forename of the... Okay, this one's Natasha, right? I'm pretty sure this one's Natasha. Wait, N-A-T... It'll fit this time. But for the previous one, it wouldn't fit. Natasha, is that right? It is, very good. Here's the sugar I promised. All right, thanks, I guess. Did you learn anything useful? Well, you're all using code names, so I'm guessing you're doing something fairly underhanded. Uh, underhanded wouldn't be the word Matthew would use. What word would, what word would Matthew use? He'd say we're doing what's necessary. Well, we have sugar now. I have no idea what to do though. Oh, one, one thing I did find too is, uh, let me go back to it, I'll talk about it. So I think, oh wait, not in this room. In this room? I think this is um, Betty's diary. So the first two numbers are my current age. And she says, um, if you talk to her now, she says, it's my 28th birthday in a couple of days, which means she's 27 right now. And then the third number is the number of patients. <laughs> I, I, this is getting crazy, but... Um, so the number of patients they have, let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, I think five. So 27, five. And then the last, the, the next two are uh, the current year, which um, it actually says the current year if you look at Rodney's diary over here. Yeah, by the end of 88. So it's 27, five, 88. And then the last one is the number of digits or letters in her forename which would be Elizabeth. So what is that? 9? Okay, 9. So it's 275889. I don't know where to punch that in though. Am 
Might as well make a cup of coffee while I'm here. Well, we have coffee now. Maybe we can give that to somebody, actually. Where is the, uh... Is there, like, a number safe around here somewhere? Maybe I can give this guy the coffee. No. Or her. Let's actually try to give the coffee to uh, Maria outside. Maybe she'll move. Alright, that didn't work. Try to think, what do I do now? <laughs> a busy young man, leave me be. Oh, here we go. I just thought you'd like a new cup of coffee. Yours is running low. Oh, well, thank you. You're welcome. Nobody gets enough respect to receptionist. That's what I think. You're absolutely right. Guess I had you wrong, Miles. I'm going to do you a favor, but don't get yourself caught. Here's the key to the staff room in the back corridor. You can have a poke around in there. Thanks, Margaret. I really appreciate it. Okay. Nice. Let's go, uh, let's go take a look. It's probably this door right here, I'm guessing. There's the safe, too. Okay. So the first one was two. And seven. Five. Eight. Eight. Nine. Thank God that worked. <laughs> There's no way I'd guess that one. Uh, these appear to be letters addressed to Edna. Wow, we're actually making pretty good progress now. Can I read these? Like, why would they hold on to her letters, though? Look like unopened letters that are addressed to Edna. Oh, God. Am I going to go back and she's going to be dead? Because they said, or she said that she was like, thinks she's going to get murdered. Well, she's still alive. Got your letters. Have you? Great. Can you tell me what to, what you know now? Of course. A lot of this I've learned by trying to pry information from people. Other parts I've seen for myself. Go on. Well, there are five individuals currently in this building that call themselves the ones from old ways. Who? Stop interrupting. There's the father, Matthew. That's the owner. There's the mother, Natasha. That's uh, that's Matthew's wife. Or new wife. I guess his old one died. There's two brothers, Abraham and Rodney. Which, uh, Abraham's the guy that did the number puzzle with us? Or not? Asked all the questions. And then Rodney's the janitor. Finally, there's sister Maria. She's the nurse that's guarding the, the shed outside. Matthew's wife, Linda, was the first mother. And Natasha recently joined as a sister. Linda, uh, Linda died the other day, and Natasha seems to have stepped up to the mother role. What are they trying to do? It's obviously not a suicide cult. They're messing with demonology, trying to harness the power of some old demon called Azuriel. There it is! There's the name. Why? I don't know, but it's demonology. It couldn't possibly be good. Who's this Natasha? I know the name, but I have yet to meet her around here. She was Matthew's lover. She's a young Ukrainian girl. Linda didn't know about her, but I guess it doesn't matter now. What should I do? I can't just leave. I need to learn more. Continue poking around if, feel, uh, if you feel safe enough to do so. I'm staying right here. Help, it's Thomas. Sounds like Betty. Go take a look. Thomas? Which one was Thomas? Thomas, Thomas, Thomas. Oh, he was one of the old guys that like didn't didn't really say anything or no this is the lady never mind sister guards the garden i think he was over on the east hand side i think he was down here betty what is it it's thomas look well that's a lot of blood what happened there's blood everywhere i don't know just came here to give him his meds and I found him like this. This has to be murder. There's blood everywhere. I don't see any wounds. It doesn't make any sense. We may need to do something about them. Okay, at this point, yes, call the cops. 
get your grandpa and get out of there. It's not that hard. There's like, <laughs> what would you guys do? Is there any clue here at all? What's this? It's a key? Maybe this will give me some answers. Okay, let me take a look at the key here. Key to Natasha's room. All right, you know what? I think I've been recording for a while, so <laughs> I'm going to save and then we'll pick up on this game um, probably in a day or two. But so far, it's really good. And I know that's been like a lot of dialogue and there's been a lot of people, but um, it's been a fun game. I mean, it's definitely got me interested in what's going to happen. But at this point, it's like, dude, get out of there. Just get your grandpa and leave. So uh, if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. And thank you for watching.